Hi Keith, so uh, how do you get around town? Well, I get around town, I think, um, in the way that lots of Winnipeggers do. I, I drive. Uh, I, I certainly cycle recreationally. Uh, I don't do a lot of commuter cycling, but I certainly cycle recreationally. Um, I'm a big fan of walking. I live uh, in an area where it's pretty easy for me to walk in just about any direction and pick up what I need within 10, 15 minutes. So uh, certainly uh, uh, driving, uh, biking, walking, and, and occasionally the bus as well. And uh, why do you think people are afraid to bike on Winnipeg streets? Well, this is a long history of, of uh, issues around the streets in Winnipeg and cycling. Uh, I think the infrastructure is, is clearly depleted to the point where potholes and road safety are a challenge if you're on a cycle. Um, I think we've got issues around uh, awareness uh, from both uh, the drivers on the streets as well as pedestrians and uh, the cyclists themselves. There's a culture change I think that needs to occur that supports all three of those uh, pieces of the puzzle. And uh, what could Council do in four years to make Winnipeg more bike friendly? I think there's some really concrete steps that need to be taken. I think we need to expand the active transportation routes. Um, I think obviously trails are an important part of that. I think uh, the bike lanes are a, a really key element of that. I also think that if you look at the work that's been done on Sherbrooke and on Cinnaboyne um, and some of the activity that's happening on St. Matthews, I think you can look at ways to expand a, a more permanent and safer uh, fundamental structure uh, for, say, Arlington and St. Matthews that would link things in a nice way in the north and south and east and west across the city. Um, I also think that a really key part of the, the process of, the, of developing a more safer cycling culture in Winnipeg is a level of education that occurs, um, whether it be through PSAs or through a web campaign, um, whereby people are both learning on, on both sides of the equations uh, about how to be a respectful driver and how to be a really aware cyclist. I think those are two really important pieces of the puzzle. And uh, what would it take to make Winnipeg bike friendly year round? Um, you know, it would be easy to say a warmer climate, but we know that's not going to happen. Um, I think we have to look at uh, the, the elements that we can control. And we can't control the snow, but we control how it's removed. Um, I think that is a perfect example when you look at the last year and the amount of snow we had. Uh, it was uh, not a safe place for drivers this past year. It was not a safe place for cyclists uh, this past year. When you're looking at a scenario where the snow is piling up and people can't see around the corners and it's unclear where the lanes are, um, I think uh, a, a more committed uh, level of activity around snow clearing on uh, active transportation routes I think is a really key part of the puzzle as well.